Hi, and welcome back to M1 Yarns and the Michigan Makers Podcast. I'm Jamie, the dyer behind M1Yarns.com. And if you're new here, welcome. This is a mostly knitting related pod video podcast, I should say. And occasionally we get into spinning and yarn dyeing and all sorts of other fringe fiber arts. Um, but if you're returning, thanks for coming back. If you're returning, you know that whenever I finish a project, I do a quick little video to walk you through it, what I loved, what I didn't, what tips and tricks I might offer you in case you want to make what I made. And in today's video, we're going to talk about my Fresh Off the Needles Sea Glass Tea. This is a pattern by Wool and Pine that came out probably 2020, I wanna say. I cast this on in May of 2022, and it is now October of 2023. This is the longest it has ever taken me to knit a project. Now, albeit in the time between casting on and casting off, I've easily knit well over 40 other things. So it's not like I was giving this project 100% of my attention. Probably not even 50, definitely not even 50% of my attention. You know, the yoke, so this is a top-down seamless sweater. And for me, I love this style of knitting because it's all in the round. Yokes go really fast. By the time I get to about here, you know, we're slowing down because we're doing some increases for the shoulders and chest. And that's about the time that I set it to the side. Then I got a little bit further and I got to the point where I split for the sleeves. And I thought, oh, I can just cruise down the body stitches. Well, this is fingering weight. And I'll tell you about the yarn in a minute. I just kept running out of steam on this project. If you love fingering weight um, projects, more power to you. I tend to put up with them, but I love DK and worsted the most. Um, so that was a factor in how I felt over time, over lots of time, that this project became a slog. The other major thing that impacted me, and here's where I've got my first tip for you if you want to knit this. I knit this using my um, 2021 Advent mini box of yarn, and it was 25 minis. And I think I added in maybe one or two extra that I just had like laying around and I was like, oh, let's just toss that in the bag. And um, so the pattern, and let me get a little closer so you can see this. The pattern is one by one color work. And so every round you change both, you're holding two strands, so you're doing one by one, and then every round you change the yarn that you're holding. So I put a lot of thought into how I was progressing the colors, um, like this dark, it's almost like a burgundy you can kind of see throughout. I wanted that to be a little bit more like like creating sections, I guess, if you will. Um, and the pattern does walk you through this. So if you do like the original sample and what I did, one by one, changing both colors every round, that's like a lot. If I were to do it again, my tip to you or to future me would be hold one strand of like a light colored, maybe soft gray, cream, white, whatever, solid. And then one strand of a color changing yarn, maybe like a hand spun. Think along the lines of like Spin Cycle or um, Zauberball, those sock yarns that change colors. That would be really cool. That's what I would do again. I'm not really that into like bright, busy um, clothing in general. Um, but my knitting does tend to be like a little bit more on the bright and crazy at times. But I think I'm 
encouraging myself to knit what I feel most comfortable wearing and that's like neutrals or things that are very like mix and matchable things like black navy cream for me brown um the colors that I can put with like 90% of the skirts pants and whatnot in my closet so that I get a lot more wear but so obviously this is pretty bright and pretty bold the pattern does give you options for like different yarn combination situations so I will say that that not everyone is going to have the two strand changing every round problem or stress that I had that was definitely what I signed up for and what got super annoying. Um, I obviously used this red on the ribbing all the way around. And then essentially I just, you know, like I said, kept changing yarn. This is basically my little bag of yarn scraps, mini skeins that I have left. It's not much at all. And honestly, as soon as I film this video, I think it's going to go in the garbage. I am... I don't want to hold on to these tiny, teeny tiny little bits of, and, it's an, and I've got a post-it note in my hand, um, teeny tiny bits of scrap that I'm never going to put to use that's just going to remind me of how tedious this sweater was. Um, I do like the overall fit. I will say that. I knit the size 2. I range between a 36 and a 38 bust. Um, I don't normally knit sleeves this long. I did knit them to pattern. It says knit um, from the split about two inches, which I did. I actually kind of think it's a flattering fit. Um, so that was something that maybe I wouldn't have otherwise picked up on as a good thing for future me. So... Um, the one thing I will really stress on this is that obviously if you have all these color changes, you would have lots of strands to weave in at the end, right? I mean, after I get done recording this, I should count how many rounds are in this so I could calculate how many strands I would have to weave in if I did it that way. However, I didn't. I took the pattern's advice and I did Magic Knot, um, which I'll try to link below a video that I used to teach myself how to do it. Um, I did Magic Knot, so there's essentially no ends to weave in except for like, you know, the end, the ends of your pieces and whatnot. Um, but I will say that I was not happy with that result because, and I'm going to try to turn around and show you. And it doesn't matter much for me because I have long hair that's going to cover it. See how it almost like it's not a clean situation. That's not the best look. Hopefully you can see it like that. Um, not happy with that. So in all likelihood, I don't see myself getting a whole lot of happy wear out of this project. Um, maybe with overalls, so the over the back covers some of that, that my hair might not, if that makes any sense. So if I were to do it again, as many ends as I would have to weave in, which is the grand total of this number, um, I would weave in the ends. I would rather weave in the ends and have like one straight line and if I were to do it again that way I would do jogless stripes which I'll also link below to a video all about that which I think is super helpful anytime you're doing stripes while knitting in the round because essentially you're not knitting around and then another round and then another round you're knitting like one continuous like cylindrical it's going like if it makes if it makes any sense, how can I best describe this? You're going like this, kind of. If anyone can figure out how to better describe this, please comment below because 
I'm just at a loss for words. Um, I mean, all in all, I'm happy with the fit in the front. I don't like the whole seam thing in the back or the color change bit in the back. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be done. So let's just focus on the positives maybe. But what I really love about these finished object videos is that I'm going to tell it to you for real, like for real. And let me say this, as far as if you have a bunch of admin, ad, blah, 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 advent minis, which like, I don't, and I don't dye advent minis anymore. Now I do full skeins in the advent boxes that I sell. Um, I just don't find minis like that fabulous unless you're a major sock knitter and then you're going to use your minis towards heels, toes, and cuffs, that type of thing, maybe scrappy socks. All that to say, I think there are better uses of advent minis and mini skeins in general than this top. Things like a blanket, scrappy socks, um... Yeah, I don't know. That's what I've got for you for now. So that's pretty much all I have to say on this. Thanks for joining me here for another episode. If you don't already subscribe, please consider hitting the subscribe and the notification bell. Bell. Bill. Bell. I can't talk today. And thank you for joining me. And until next time, happy knitting. Bye.